So it's been a little while since I've done an update on my chilli plants, so I thought I'd better do another one. Today's date is the 15th of December, so we're halfway through December now. And actually doing pretty well, I think better than the last update anyway. So, you might have seen the other updates, you can click um, some on the side, there should be some more of my videos about these two chilies. Now, um, this one here is a normal chilli, just a small small pepper size you can see there, pretty spicy though. And this is a chinense chilli, which is super spicy, but I've had varying results to be honest with the level of spice from this one. This one is now a year and a half, I think, years old, and this one is probably about 10 months old. Maybe a bit younger, maybe 8 months. So, I'll start with this one. Um, it's kept all its leaves, hasn't dropped any leaves, which is good. Um, it had a really good crop. I've just started, I've just finished off that last crop. You can see got some dried up chilies, one or two from the last crop. And it's just starting a, a next flush. You can see here. Now it's also got loads of flowers coming on it. You can see, even where there's not many leaves, lots of flowers, lots of flower buds. Right around here as well. Look at that, you can see there's going to be hundreds of chilies when all these flowers come out. You can see all those. Get focus for you. Lots and lots of um, flower buds there. So that's great. So, although it's December and the light levels are very low, it seems to be doing okay. I'm putting on another flush of, of flowers. It hasn't put on any leaves though, or any growth. I think part of the reason is the, the pot size. It's kind of reached the maximum size it can for the size of, the, of its roots. So I don't think it's really going to grow much more. I've also managed to keep on top of the aphids, so there's a there's a few dead ones, but I don't think there's any live aphids anymore, which is good. So this that's part of the reason why it was getting quite stressed, and I'm wondering if it's part of the reason why it's got this kind of bleaching. It's strange. It's only on the on the front of the leaf, not on the back. I'm not sure what that is. I mean, this is often grown as an annual, and these leaves are actually you can see there are some of the first these big ones anyway. Are some of the first leaves it grew when it was a young plant, so they're a good eight months old. So. I don't know if it's just the age of the leaves or or what it is or because I've given it lots of um, high nitrogen feed maybe it's not losing these leaves like it would normal, normally because often you'd expect the old leaves to go yellow and drop but it hasn't done that so I'm not sure about that but generally it's a healthy plant you can see lots of healthy new flowers are coming on it and and it has been cropping fantastically you know, I've been picking about pepper a day off this for the last six months or so and Looking at all the new flower buds coming, it's going to do the same again. So what I'll probably do with this is just keep getting fantastic crops from it. If the leaves start to look really quite poorly, I might cut it back, encourage it to to put on some new vegetative growth to get some better leaves and maybe give it a, some fresher compost. But it's a good size at the moment, any bigger and it wouldn't fit on my windowsill. So that's doing quite well at the moment. I mentioned it, chilli is also doing well. It, went, it always goes through phases, phases of losing all its leaves, but at the moment it's going through a phase of growing its leaves. And in fact, even in the last phase where it dropped a lot of its leaves, it didn't actually drop too many. You can see quite a few of them still here. Still that nutrient deficiency though. But the new leaves are coming through a lot healthier, and it's looking a lot better at the moment. You can also see it's got quite a few chilies on it. Looks better from this side, because this is the side not facing the sun. Um, but yeah, fantastic new growth. And actually, if you look carefully, the new growth is just starting to get a few uh, a few flowers on it. I'll see if I can get it to focus for you guys. You might struggle to focus on that. Let's see, it's a bit dark in here at the moment. There you are. You can see some flower buds just starting. So, hopefully that will have another flush as well. But being this far north, um, and being winter, it's not gonna. I'm not expecting the best of crops, but I'm just hopefully overwinter it. Come spring, I'll also cut this one back because it's getting quite big now. It's also got a lot of crossing branches. I'm just gonna cut it to make it a nicer shape. Here you can see the branch structure quite nicely. It's quite thick, so I want to give this one quite a hard prune. I think it might look quite nice even as a bonsai because it's getting quite a thick trunk now. It's getting older, and it's getting bark on it as well. So it's quite a nice looking chilli, 
Um, so I'll keep you guys updated as to how these do. I'll probably do another update when they're either in full flower or when they're just starting to put on a new crop of chilies. Probably, probably about February, maybe. That's how they're doing at the moment, so hopefully they'll continue going onwards and upwards and they'll hopefully all successfully overwinter them this year. This one's been overwintered before and so then chilies, chilies are a little bit easier for that, but the normal capsicum um, annum chili is a bit tougher to overwinter, so we'll see how that goes. But at the moment this is also, minus the, the weird colouring on the leaf, is also looking really healthy and growing really well. As you might have seen in the other videos, my main problem was aphids on this, which has almost been killed several times by aphid, as has this chili. But as at the moment we have no aphids, so hopefully that will continue and we'll have some healthy chili plants.